Minister Betty Amongo ategeze zanti nga ministre baline chigende lilu okulaba nga abantu abateleka ne chitavu cha wakozi beyo ngela kovu unji nga weguna atu kilo mwaka guwabili ya bili muetano nga baweze zaba antu obukade kuminabutano okuwa kubukade kuminabusatu Minister Atubuli Denti waliwe nsimbi obuumbi mkaga ezate reduwa wo okuwa mchitavu cha wakozi echa NSSF ziambe komu kuongela okugazi ya empele za ze chitavu chino no kusome saba Antobukulu obuli mkwetele kere nsimbi Which we have agreed with the board Is to increase coverage From the current 1.3 million members That have balances with NSSF To 15 million by 2025 In the next five years we are looking at Increasing it from 1.3 to 5 million By 2025 we must have at least 15 million and I will tell you where the figure is coming from. Minister Elatu Bulide Okusinzi ila kuteka lino Katibatu nulide ni banku bacheyo Okulaba butia abwe basobola okuyamba Okulaba anganabo Basobola okutele kane NSSF Nsimbi zibaba bakoze Okuva mawanga jibako lila Ntikubaba anji Baba denga baweleza kune nsimbi zabwe Eliabe nganda ne mikuano jabwe Baba yambe ko chokate Libata ziganyuru amu Expand coverage I ask them to look at how the fund can leverage the rich and services of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to ensure that Ugandans in the diaspora are part of social security network. Under my ministry, I have over 250,000 Ugandans working in the Middle East, majority of whom are sending their money in an ad hoc way to save. And they have expressed willingness to save with NSSF. I have tasked the board to work with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and my ministry to see how the Ugandans in the diaspora will be able to benefit from this new uh, law. Minister Ela Gambi NT waliwone misango ejuwele la dalama kumiabili eja wabila abantu sechinomu ngaba wabila NSSF olobu tafayo kulondo olaba kama babwe olobu basalanga nsimbi chokane zitatu kamchita vuchino ilanga kati ensonga rwachi basa zewo kugunjao enkole yo mtimbaganu abantu mweba na itilanga ukuba wa maulire eri aga kuata kubakoze sa abasala sente za wakozi babwe nti eza NSSF chokange nsimbi over 20 cases by employees are in court seeking that NSSF should remit their money because the employees, employers have not remitted. So there are people who have also taken NSF to court saying that my employers have not remitted. It should have been you NSSF to enforce to make my employers remit. So it is you now to make sure that my money is recovered. Those categories are also in court. Chokera minister agumiza ba na Uganda obuta tia kutele kana NSSF olebi ba debi iti nganti ensimbi za wezi bibwa na tegezanti nga ministry nga ba ita muofisi ya kaliso liso bata andiso kukolo kuno nyeleza kubakozi ababa debe nyigila mumivuyo ejitarijimu choka na tegezanti zo ensimbi za ba na Uganda zili bulunji teli ainza ziku atako Examine strategic areas and activities that should bring on board and address the new law by establishing an online system for whistleblowers who can report non-compliance by employers who deduct their money but do not remit. So this online system will be used if you realize that your employer is not remitting your money. You don't need to lose your job because the majority are saying if I Come as a whistleblower and I'm known, I'm going to be uh, sacked from my job. This time we want you to be able to call, anonymous call and say, this company where is located here, I'm working here, is not remitting money. My money and money for the workers. Ye minister avunanyi zwa kunsimbi na okuteke la tekele guanga matia kasaija asabeba na Uganda okuteke kero ukade wabwe ngabateleka ne NSSF. We can't force you, but we need to save money. Save money for your retirement. Haven't you seen some people, when they retire from government or whatever, you find them very miserable. 
Omumbeja Grace Nasolo, Delta TV, Amasukurumu.